Today we're going to demonstrate how to use a spark tester to test for a good spark. And so this is a great spark tester. It's got an adjustable air gap in it. And uh, we'll use this to see if we've got spark at the cylinder. Um, and typically, each of these numbers on here, this, this 30 right here, represents about 30 kilovolts. That's about how much it takes to jump that big of a gap. And so any, any ignition coil should be able to produce a spark that'll jump 30 kilovolts. So let's, let's uh, widen that gap a little bit. So if we can't have a spark, if we don't have a spark that'll jump that gap, we don't have a spark that's good enough for uh, to run the engine. So we want to make sure it will at least do that. So let's install this into the circuit here. Remove a spark plug wire. Okay, so once you've got the uh, spark tester installed into the spark plug boot, you ground the other end of it. And we're going to watch Watch that tester to see if we can see the spark jumping across that gap. Ready? Yep, go ahead. See the spark jumping across that gap right there? Mm -hmm. Got a good spark. Okay, it shut it off. Let's go ahead and test this other cylinder that's, that has a misfire now. We know what it should do. Ready? Oh, we saw one spark. Oh, every once in a while. It's a great example of what's either a weak spark or an intermittent spark right there. It's not consistently jumping that gap, but every once in a while you see a, a random spark jump the gap. That's how you use a spark tester to test for spark.